Hey guys, what's up? My name's Justin. Um, I am a touring front of house monitor, broadcast engineer, and today I just wanted to go through a quick what's in my Pelican case. Take a couple minutes to show you what I keep with me everywhere I go. Uh, so let's get started. Let's see what we got in here. So open it up. I do have the lid organizer. It just keeps everything, all the small stuff really organized for me. Um, it just makes life easy um, for grabbing little stuff out. Here's what it looks like before anything is pulled out. Um, as you can see, I like to keep everything very organized. Everything kind of has a home and a reason why it's there, but um, I'll go through everything um, piece by piece. Um, so let's start up here, um, nine volt batteries. Uh, just keep a spare a couple of those in here. Um, this cheap little like measurement thing in case I don't have time to set up um, a full uh, smart rig and just need a quick um, dial in uh, mic clip. I keep the spare mic clips in there. Um, laser distance meter, um, super helpful when you're trying to figure out um, sizing of rooms for PAs. Um, and then a couple of these just rubber duckies that um, we use on all of our wireless stuff. Um, it's just helpful to have some of these quarter waves just sitting around because you don't know what we need one for. Um, moving over this way, I got um, a Thunderbolt 2 to HDMI. Um, that is for the dock that I keep in my waves rack um, in case I want to throw in an external monitor. Um, HDMI cable, um, have another HDMI cable, you never know when you need one of those. Um, and then just a, a SE7 from um, SE Mics. Just helpful to have one of those around in case you need to throw one on a snare or a hi-hat or something like that. Um, in here, I have a couple different capsules, uh, a couple of V7s and uh, two 58 capsules. Um, I just keep those in there. Um, a lot of people that I work with like V7s and a couple of people like the 58, so that's pretty much what I keep with me at all times. Um, in here, there's a bunch of different turnarounds, you know, um, Ethercon turnarounds and ML4 turnarounds, um, SDI couplers, some TRS uh, right angle, um, TS to TS, uh, XLR male to female, female to male. Um, some, what we got here, attenuators, like a bunch of different random adapters, uh, turnarounds that I might need when we're at a show, um, helpful to have. Um, in here, I keep my multimeter. This is probably the one thing that I wish I would have kept in here from day one, because there have been one too many shows where we've connected to house power and it hasn't been right, but now I keep this with me and if it's not right, we don't do the show. Um, so, Keep that with me. Um, this is a Sennheiser to Shore wireless uh, capsule turnaround adapter, whatever you want to call it. A um, couple Shure wireless antennas. Um, we use Shure wireless, so it's helpful to keep those with me. Um, and then moving into the Pelican itself, um, I keep, and some people make fun of me for this, but I found it super helpful. Um, I keep a it's like 25 feet stereo pair of XLRs in my Pelican at all times because there have been multiple instances where we need to tie into something or um, there's just not enough length to get from point A to point B. And having this in my Pelican has been helpful so many shows. Um, so this stays in there at all times, does not leave. And I've used it probably every show I've done. Um, Trackpad, um, that's more for the Waves um, rig that I carry with me. Um, this right here is my RF Explorer. Um, I keep this in this handy little case. Um, so I keep the antenna. And then this is in a, a turnaround for um, the, let me pull this out if I can get to it. Um, Sennheiser paddle that I keep in my Pelican. Um, this is an omnidirectional paddle. This is a little bit better, I've realized in my scans, than the little dinghy that they ship with it. So I will use this um, 
in an ideal situation, but if I have to, I'll use this guy. Um, so there's both of those pieces. Moving along, keyboard, also helpful to just have in here. Um, both of these things are used for the Waves rig that I carry around. Um, a little um, jumper in case uh, my Mac charger doesn't fit in the outlet. And then just a triple tap. Um, sometimes I use them together, you know, a little marriage action. And a late coupler, barrel, whatever you want to call it. Uh, also helpful to have. This right here is, um, is a Behringer PM1. Uh, it's got XLR input and a 3.5 millimeter output for my ears. Um, and then I use my Sari uh, cables, XLR to TRS. It's got my name on it, it's real fancy. Um, I love it. And so basically, this end comes out of the headphone jack on the console, goes into this little box, and then I just put it on my hip right here real nice and put my ears into it. And that way I can hear uh, talkbacks um, on stage and don't have to sort of squawk box just because I don't want everyone hearing what they have to say. This is a mic mute from Rolls. I don't often use this. Sometimes I'll let the band guys use it, um, but it's just helpful to have in my Pelican. Um, this is my talkback mic. This is a basic standard Switch 58 with a bunch of blue tape on it, so I know it's mine, and a black capsule. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. A Thunderbolt 3 gigabit network adapter. Um, this is for waves, because this is the only thing that will work with it, in my experience. Um, this is just a micro USB to USB cable for the um, ARF Explorer. This is my tuning mic. I keep that in here as well. This is a DBX, whatever their cheapest mic is because it works. Um, it's great, use it all the time, and I keep it in this nice uh, rational acoustics case. It costs like 20 bucks, little fancy little case. It's mine. Um, mic clip for that mic. Um, network switch, um, just a eight port gigabit switch that I keep in my Pelican. Uh, literally just plug and play. It's helpful to have these. So yeah, there's that. Um, then we go to all the cables that I keep in here. Um, I try to keep a bunch of different types of cables because it's super helpful. Um, we have all of these guys. So let's just go through them real quick. Um, this is just basic standard uh, 10 foot XLR. Um, use that for whatever you need it for. Um, we have TRS to female XLR. Again, just a nice little turnaround. Um, this is just Ethernet. Shielded Cat5 for waves. Um, this is USB A to USB B because I use um, Akai MPK MIDI, MIDI controller uh, with all my wave stuff. XLR to 3.5 for playlist or anything else. Um, this is male XLR to TRS um, right angle. Um, this is Ethernet to Ethercon, another Ethercon to Ethernet turnaround, TRS. Um, this is a um, wireless antenna cable. Um, it's like a probably like 10 foot. Um, this one's like a five foot um, from Sure. Um, another XLR and then another backup um, USB A to USB B. And that's all the cables that live in my Pelican. It's just super helpful to have those. I use probably half of them every show. Um, and, you know, whether that's for hooking up time code in the back or um, sending, you know, uh, something to a squawk box that's nearby. Just helpful to keep cables of all sorts of variety in my Pelican, and I've used all of them. Uh, so that would be everything in my Pelican. I hope you enjoyed this little video. You can subscribe to my channel. Hopefully, I'll have some more content coming soon. But thanks for tuning in and uh, peace out.